Hey guys, I'm Addie, Roberts, registered dietitian and founder of General Wellness. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where today we are talking about how to plan meals. This is a very hot topic and a question I get asked all of the time. So in this video, I will explain how to plan meals, how to go about shopping at the grocery store with those, and then the two things that people commonly miss whenever they are trying to plan their own meals, as well as a bonus at the end about how you can plan the perfect meal every single time. So here we go. For me, the most important thing when it comes to planning meals is making sure that it's balanced. But what do I mean by balance? Well, I just mean that it should have a carb, a protein, and a healthy fat at every single meal. So obviously this is going to look different at every meal, but breakfast, for example, you might have some whole grain cereal, you might do almond milk with that, which wouldn't really count for much, but then maybe you can have eggs on the side for your protein and a handful of almonds or walnuts on the cereal for your healthy fat. That to me would be a balanced meal versus maybe having some waffles with some oatmeal and some fruit, which still might be really healthy, but is only going to be a carb source, all three of those things. So balance is a really big deal when it comes to planning the perfect meal. So when you're shopping at the grocery store and planning your meals, you need to be thinking about all of these components at every meal. For me, what this looks like is writing it down. So I use the note page on my phone, super easy. Sometimes you can grab a pen and paper as well. And I just write those three different things, carbs, protein, and fat. And then I do breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And then I'm filling it out, making sure that I have something from every single category at every single meal and snack. By writing it out, you really make sure that you don't miss any of the important components and you get everything you need. This is important because it helps round out your diet as a whole, make sure you're getting everything you need, but also making sure that you have that protein and healthy fat can also help keep you full. And then you get to the grocery store. So for me, when I'm at the grocery store, I stick to my list. This helps keep me in budget, as well as helps keeps me getting healthy things at the grocery store. If I go off my list, I'm most likely spending a lot more than I wanted to at the grocery store, and maybe choosing things that wouldn't be as healthy because I'm buying on impulse. So in general, for me, planning healthy meals is all about balance. This carb, protein, and fat balance, but there's also two really important things I think that people oftentimes forget when it comes to planning healthy meals as well. So those two things would be fiber and vegetables. So fiber is really important for various reasons. I can include a link below to a blog post all about fiber so that you can learn more, but it helps keep us full. It also um, helps with GI health and all of that good stuff and can decrease risk for some chronic diseases. Fiber comes in a lot of different forms, but it's usually in whole grains and beans and things like that. And then vegetables. So you can have a perfectly balanced meal, be getting all the healthy proteins, all of this, but if you miss eating vegetables and prioritizing them in your healthy meal plan and diet, then you're kind of missing the point of nutrition as a whole. Vegetables provide us so many different vitamins, minerals, nutrients, antioxidants that we need to provide health and all of that and to prevent any kind of chronic disease or anything that might come when we avoid them. So they are very important and should not be skipped whenever you're planning your meals. It's easiest to get vegetables in at lunch and dinner, so that's typically when I plan them, whenever I'm writing out my meals for the week and planning my grocery list, but don't skip fiber or vegetables. These are my quick, easy tips. It's not rocket science, but you do want balance and you want things that fill you with health. So fiber and vegetables come into play there. But if you're still confused on how to plan healthy meals, I've got something perfect for you. I have made a meal planning guide covering everything you need to know from start to finish about how to plan meals, how to grocery shop, and all of that. So I have included that link 
down below for you to purchase that meal planning guide and never again even have to think twice about what to cook for yourself. You don't have to do any of the guessing about what is and what's not healthy because I break down what I like to call the foundation for a healthy diet, explaining the healthiest forms of carbs, protein, and fat for you so that you know you're not only getting balance but also health in your diet, which is the most important part. So that link is below for you to purchase that meal planning guide and never second guess yourself again when it comes to planning meals. Hopefully this video was helpful for you as a quick, easy tips in order to plan healthy meals. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and feel free to follow me on Instagram for more day-to-day -day recipe ideas as well.